Hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely Doomer day. I thought long and hard about this, and my values haven't changed. I value life, people, and community. And anyone or anything that threatens that, no matter how disillusioned they are with the system, or arrogant, most notably, I'm going to retain these values, because this is who I am. Now, you may be a little bit confused right now, though some of my subscribers know exactly what I'm talking about. In this case, I'm going to start with an article published from WFLA, that's Florida, where Ron DeSantis runs things. From Jeff Berardelli, our good old friend moved over to Florida of all places, I guess, or was he, he was actually from there. Anyways, he wrote a page here, through the millennia, Earth's climate has gradually shifted from ice ages to periods even warmer than today due to natural cycles, but the current moment is different. The rate of warming is unprecedented. In the brief history of modern civilization, and it's being forced by humans mainly due to the burning of fossil fuels. Where is he getting this information from? Well, he sat down with Dr. Catherine Hayhoe, chief scientist from the Natural Conservancy and one of the world's leading climate scientists, to discuss how concerned we should be. She says, humans are conducting an unprecedented experiment with the only home we have. This is educated, credible experience from someone who knows. Maybe not everything, including aerosol masking, or she's in denial, but at least she's got the basic facts right. When you look at plants and animals, she says, people say, well, they have adapted to greater changes in the past, and they have, but not this fast. The changes that are happening are orders of magnitude faster than the warming between the last ice age and today. So what's at stake is everything, everyone, every place that we care about. Okay. Maybe I just need to ask my viewer, do you care about your life or those you love or everything you've ever known? If you say no, then I can understand the viewpoint which I'm going to get into next. There's a reason I'm saying this. The evidence is irrefutable by now. There's so much of it. My subscribers know. Jeff says, it sounds to me like you're saying that the existence of humanity is truly threatened and we don't combat change, climate change quickly. She asks, she answers, it is the existence of human civilization as we know it. She continues, the way we grow our food, the way we get our water, the way we design our infrastructure, our economy, our supply lines, our geopolitical boundaries, all of that was built for a planet that no longer exists. That's how quickly the climate is changing. She continues, climate change is a threat multiplier, so it is taking all these issues that we already concerned about and making them worse. Okay? Right in your face, continuing. 50% of the people in the U.S. say they feel helpless and, and hopeless about the situation, that we, we, we do nothing. And then she goes on to say some more hopium facts. But look, that's not the emphasis here. The emphasis is people continuing to live in the dark ages. And I woke up triggered today by an article from The Guardian. Here it is. Dining Across the Divide U.S. Special. This is something that I've been portraying on my channel since the beginning, perhaps. And we'll discuss it in a moment, but let's just read the highlights. So essentially, uh, they, got, they got two people together who are across the political spectrum. Never mind that the whole system is, set, is intended to, to exploit and tax. It's cons we're, we don't live in a democracy. It's a republic uh, for the rich. Um, there's so many things wrong with this system, the way we conduct ourselves and everything. But the, but the, idea, the, the ideology or the, um, the value that this individual has is why I'm so combative with the hopium that I see on, that we see on Beckwith's channel and so forth. So let's just get into it. Dining across the U.S., he said, he said it was my opinion that caused climate change. No, it's science. The sub-headline is, he's a Republican, she's a Democrat. Can they find any common ground on the climate crisis? Taxes are truth about the capital attack? So you got April 48 from Boulder, Colorado. She's a massage therapist. She's also a Democrat, which is just as evil as a Republican, so maybe this is a false argument. I've always had liberal views. She has the dog the size of a squirrel. She's an artist. She just graph graphite illustrations. Cool. He's Ted, 59, quintessential, arrogant, piece of shit, 
Gen X slash Boomer, right on that line, just, okay, why am I loading my firearms? Why am I buying ammo? It's because of Ted, all right? And I'm not ashamed to admit this. He is on the same spectrum to me as child rapists, murderers, and uh, con artists. He is right on the same category as them to me. We just read that it's a this is a threat to all of existence. And he's saying, let's listen to what he has to say. He's a Republican. He voted for Trump twice, but doesn't defend him. I think he was kind of a jackass the way he carried himself. Ted, who's one of April's clients, almost died after jumping into a supposedly dry stream to retrieve a golf ball. He got stuck way steep in mud and has friends fish him out with a pole. Doesn't That's kind of irrelevant. But let's read... Let's read what their what their point of contention is, okay? At the beginning, they were joking, you know, he's a client, she's a massage therapist. Okay, so they ordered food, um, skipping up here, talk about food, and then they got into things. We talked about climate. April says he believes in climate change is real, but doesn't believe humans are responsible. This is called arrogance and willful ignorance. This is a despicable... How many fingers am I holding up? Five? Or eight. If you if you just answer either of those or zero, then you're not a you don't you're not worth it. You're not worth saving. You're not a good human. Okay. Yeah. Call this eco fascism. No, it's called rationale. It's called getting out of the dark ages. Ted. She kept using the word exponentially, and I just don't know for sure if humans are powerful enough to change the course of events on on Earth to be to the extent she thinks we can. It's not her. It's leading scientists and data and evidence. April says, I was emphasizing that if you look at history, the speed of climate change is unprecedented. It took thousands of years for the magnitude of change we caused in one century. He didn't agree. He kept saying it was my opinion. That's her opinion. Yes. Data and science. Look, it's my opinion that I'm holding up three fingers right now. That's how stupid this, 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 this that's how stupid this comes across. Okay. I'm like, no, it's science. There's research, she says. <clears throat> Ted says, another point of contention was transition to green energy. I think we should continue to use fossil fuels until we get clean energy ready to go. Neither of these are good. Civilization's a heat engine. You know, again, guys, I'm not focusing on, the, on that. I'm focusing on values, all right? What kind of person you are. Uh, she didn't think make, she's ready to make the change now. She thinks oil companies are profiteers. They are. They've made record billions of profits. I think we're in a capitalist society and they're going to make money at the expense of all life on earth. It's very expensive to go out and find gas. I, think, I don't think they're taking advantage of us. This is just a clueless, idiot, uneducated, moron sales manager who's benefiting from the system. So, of course, he's not going to agree about data and evidence, okay? I know, I've been through all this already, guys. It just, it doesn't... It never gets old, okay? We agree that politicians on both sides are insanely greedy. They all seem to think we should be allowed to invest in stocks while in office. None of them, neither of them trust politicians, yet he's continuing to go with the system. Uh, we had a hard time understanding each other's perspectives around inequality and taxation. taxation. He has a more experience in economics, but I have more experience living at lower end of those economics. I think corporations and top executives need to be taxed more and have their bonuses revamped. He says there's plenty to go around. Yes, as the top 1% took 50 trillion from us over the past 50 years, okay? So there's enough to go around so it all goes up to them. And I wanna send him the inequality, like, Dude, take education. There's local corruption. The teachers' unions are a problem. We should get the lo local people out there and have it run by outsiders. And then January 6th, I don't really care, you know, about that. It was, um, we have some common ground, but she was pretty adamant on her views, and I wasn't going to back down on mine. I think people pull themselves up. They work hard and get successful. She has more of a victim mentality. That's how she sees things. Dude, the system is rigged. These are the facts. The top 1% took all the money. The, the facts. This is just, this is arrogance. This is the thing that triggers me the most, is arrogance. Is like, is standing in front of this, in front of this, like, no, this is red, not black. And despite all of the data you can show me, you know, I'm still going to be convinced that this is red. 
that's you're not worthy of, of breathing air, okay, in my in my book. Yet she says he's a great guy and he gave you the shirt off his back. Would he really? Would he really? And clearly he doesn't give a fuck about the planet or each other or everything. Anything but his own selfish gains so that he can get stuff his gob. Okay? There's a lack of trust that it comes anything that comes out of our side. That's what he's calling it. He was like your side and my side. It came an argument rather than debate a point. Yeah, you, you can't debate with someone who doesn't believe in data or evidence. Who says, it's, it's, this is why it's just, uh, so moving on, you guys get the point there. The message is clear. You can't have a rational discussion with someone who doesn't even see reality clearly. Okay? That's why I've given up. Long time ago. I just walk away from people like Ted. And I go buy more ammo. Because when shit hits the fan and they come to me, or they're even within 100 to 200 yards of me, I'm wiping them out. They're trash. Arrogant, ignorant human beings do not deserve to walk this planet, especially when everything is at stake. Everything. Hope you guys have a lovely Doomer day. I'll talk to you later. See ya.